um, coronavirus update. So last time I blogged was about a week ago or yeah, something like that. And boy, have things changed. Um, we knew Corona was out there and it was possibly gonna mess with us a little bit, but boy, we had no idea. Um, so it's Wednesday afternoon right now and I'm home. Um, as of today, we've been given the go ahead to work from home. Um, Monday and Tuesday, yesterday and the, and the day before, we had to go to work, but the kids weren't there. Kids have not been coming to school since last Wednesday. Um, so we've had a few days of teachers reporting and every day we'd get different information and um, we found out over the weekend that the kids weren't coming back for you know three weeks and then, which was actually five weeks for us because we have a two week spring break around Easter time. So we found out over the weekend, I believe, that the kids were not gonna be back until after Easter break. So that was gonna be five weeks out. And then it wasn't until Tuesday, I think, Tuesday night, that we found out, or no, it must have been Monday night or Tuesday morning, we found out that teachers, as of today, um, didn't have to report to work. So we are doing our best to do distance online learning. Um, so far, I've you know assigned some work to my kids and uh, checked in with them a little bit. Um, deadlines are like today and tomorrow for the work I've given them so far so we'll see how that stuff stuff starts rolling in and uh, see if we can get adjusted to the to the lifestyle of, of doing online things so um, all I can say is it's been really nearly impossible to concentrate over the last couple of days at school just so much you know there's so many so many just kind of your instinct is to want to talk with people and figure out what's going on and it makes just for a really tough environment to get a lot done so I'm kind of thankful to be home today um, because not as many distractions and uh, able just to kind of you know be here by myself and kind of get my head around what's going on uh, I assume that's or I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's not gonna last where we're in a day or two I'll be really looking to you know to be around some people but for now it feels good to be home and and get a little bit of a grip on what's going on um, yeah the last kind of the last hurrah for us was we had a party at my house a week ago tonight to celebrate the birthday of Lynn a friend of mine um, from school that was kind of probably like our last big get-together um, we also did a beer festival a couple weekends ago and all you know of course all those kinds of events are now canceled so nice that we were able to get in a couple last you know fun get-togethers with people because um, it's gonna be kind of brutal I think for a while um, we also did a, a really nice hike on Sunday this was before we knew um, I think it was before we knew that the kids were gonna be gone I don't know it's so hard to remember when we found things out but did a really nice hike down in southern Germany um, near Garmisch on Sunday with a bunch of people and I'll maybe post some pictures down below uh, the video here because it was just a beautiful day um, you know it's kind of like okay this is real but let's get out and, and get out in nature and be together and it was a really great day um, <clears throat> so yeah today I've been getting a little work done but also resting and uh, just went to the hardware store kind of like a Home Depot type place. It's just down the street from me. I had to get some stuff for my uh, washing machine, but just a couple of things. It's just kind of nice to do a few things to take my mind off, you know, this Corona crap. Um, and I also got some plants, some indoor plants um, to kind of brighten things up inside. It's really pretty out here today. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a beautiful day. Um, and I have a garden and I think probably one of these days I'll go buy some flowers to plant in the garden too because I'm just gonna need some things to do, some things to, you know, mindless things to, to just uh, be able to pass the time. Um, but yeah, it's been crazy. So as of now, we're told that um, for the foreseeable future, we're not allowed to um, really get together with too many people. Most of the businesses are closed, other than um, essential places, 
grocery stores and pharmacies and um, restaurants are actually open until midday and um, but they're only supposed to have like I think it's 30 people inside the restaurant at any given time the other thing that went down right after all this stuff hit the fan was that Sammy was in Copenhagen and a week ago tonight we got the announcement that Trump um, was closing basically closing the borders to European travel and at the time we didn't know the specifics of it so it kind of threw Sammy for a loop because she wasn't sure she'd be able to go home of course we found out more specifics related to it um, eventually um, but still it was kind of a it was a rush to try to get her on a plane and get her out of Europe and we managed to do that she flew a quick flight down here to Munich um, spent a couple days here with me we re she re she arranged for a, a change to her flight went through Atlanta didn't encounter too many problems getting back into the States and is now back home and Casey's school has been canceled too and Trisha's actually working from home as well um, but yeah it's a it's a crazy crazy situation of course as we all know um, but hoping that this is something that we can take care of and if we do the whole self whatever they call it, social distancing thing, that maybe spring can still be, be an enjoyable time for all of us down here and all of you back home too. So anyway, that's the report from now, for now, and uh, I'm going to carry on with some work and, um, and start figuring out what it's like to teach my kids from, from home. So we'll, we'll find out and more to come. All right, take care, everybody. I'm um, thinking about all of you. All right, bye.